Hey YouTube, this is Eddie's Tech Talk. We're gonna take a look at the Motor Trend Truck of the Year here, the Dodge Ram 1500. So usually the F-150 wins Truck of the Year, but the Ram really got it done this year. And let's take a look to see if we can figure out at least a little bit of why. Obviously we can't drive it, but we can take a look and see kind of what's going on here. So we can see a very aggressive front profile on this vehicle. Really just a really aggressive look. Although it is plastic and it feels very plastic. I mean, this is just superficial really, but you know, as soon as you get up close to this vehicle, you notice that. So that's really not a nice touch in my opinion, but we'll just take it for what it is. I'll call this the Stormtrooper Ram. We got the black and white here. This can be the, you know, the Stormtrooper Ram truck of the year. I think that's why it won really. But we can take a look again. Again, very aggressive front styling, very aggressive accents on the hood here. Uh, and then it's also just a really highly spec vehicle. So it has a big engine in it as well. So let's take a look around the, again, the external profile of the vehicle. Uh, we can see, again, just really aggressive sideboards, really aggressive side accents, and all that kind of stuff, just as we go around. This is obviously, you can take a look at this version of the car. We have a full door in the rear. We'll take a look at seating back there in a minute. But you can see it seems pretty substantial. So you're going to get a bit of a smaller truck bed in this configuration of the Ram. Let's head around to the back here and we'll take a look at the truck bed where my camera bag is currently situated. So there's just your average backpack taking up room in this truck bed. But uh, it's really a very, it's a deep truck bed, but again, a little shorter than what you might be used to from some other trucks and, you know, some different cab configurations. We can head again around the external, just the back of the vehicle. You can see where the uh, rear view camera is situated right here in the handle. And then we can pull this down again so you can get a good look at the rear of the truck bed. This is also the Rebel uh, configuration of the Ram. So we can get around this side as well. Again, just really the same styling that we were seeing from the other side, obviously. So cameraman, get on in here. So getting in the vehicle, we can see that this is probably the highest spec Ram you can def you know you can buy you can get on the road today, um, and we can see that the way that the approach they've taken to infotainment immediately that that is drawn I'm drawn to this because of the the vertical oriented screen here. So we do have some knobs for things like volume and you know tuning, finding your radio station, and then there's some toggle switches down here for towing modes, uh, but really everything's through the screen in its uh, orientation. I suppose portrait mode orientation. So that's really interesting that they didn't take the tr more traditional uh, widescreen view. Uh, and then also, which I think truck owners might not like that much, you have um, your transmission is a knob, so you don't get to get that satisfying shifting feel. Obviously, it still performs the same amount of you know, it still puts you in reverse, still puts you in drive, still puts you in park, but you don't get that satisfying feel of shifting take it or leave it I suppose. There's definitely a lot of connectivity within the vehicle. You can see we have Wi-Fi within the vehicle, 4G embedded cell within the vehicle if that's a configuration that you want to do. If you want to do more local media there's two USB ports and an auxiliary jack still here in 2019 so that's nice. And then actually it looks like we also have a CD player down here so a lot of options for music, a lot of options for you know podcasts, a lot of options for connectivity, all of that within the vehicle. We also have these cup holders here, but then we also have a lot of storage space. You can put a lot of pens and coins down here. These are some coin slots. You can put a lot of stuff down here as well. And then we have this really very, very large, if we look at it, center console that folds up. And that gives you even more room down there to just stash a lot of stuff, put a lot of stuff, inserts that come in and out for cleaning and those kinds of purposes. So there's really a lot of space within the vehicle here. Uh, for the driver and the passenger and we have this top um, spot as well with an additional USB so maybe you want to charge a device you don't use that often so again really a lot of connectivity a lot of charging ports within the vehicle which is really really nice in the driving position this actually was already adjusted to pretty much a normal driving position for me um, the car's got a big blind spot obviously but we have really big side mirrors with a blind spot mirror and blind spot detection so that's helpful to have these safety features in a large truck like this one the 
center of the vehicle, the it, the uh, speedometer, tachometer, those are analog, but just like we've seen from other manufacturers like Chrysler, there's a screen within the vehicle in the middle to, to have you look at what driving, if you're in reverse, park, it'll let you look at uh, what radio station you're listening to, if you have any messages on your phone, any messages from the car, all that kind of stuff, you can take a look at through that center screen uh, as well as, you know, some of these things you can also view over here. So this has really been uh, a nice, I suppose, a nice experience. This is obviously a very upgraded experience, but the visibility from within the vehicle, I think, is rather good. You can see clearly out of the vehicle. You can see fairly clearly, even though there's a large blind spot, the mirrors are large and the blind spot detection really helps with that. So I think as a driver in this vehicle, you're not really going to struggle that much. You're not going to have an uncomfortable or a, a dissatisfying time driving the vehicle. Let's see if your passengers will share that sentiment if they're going to have a nice time riding in the vehicle by moving to the rear. So there's a ton of room in this vehicle and that's something I'm really astounded by. That's the thing that surprised me most about this vehicle. There's a ton of room in this vehicle. Again, I'm 5'9". I'm this is my normal driving position and I can just lounge out back here. You know, I'm ready to take a nap. So I think that they've really done a nice job. If, you, if towing and hauling is your priority, definitely don't get a cab this large. But man, if you have passengers, if you're taking the family somewhere and you need a truck for work or other, you know, truck purposes instead of an SUV or a van, I mean, this is really, no one's gonna complain about riding in this car. No one's gonna complain about getting in the back of dad's truck or something because you really, I mean, again, you can just lounge out back here, take a nap, have a great time. There's connectivity options in the back as well. There's actually a traditional power outlet to plug in uh, anything that you would want, really. And then there's also two USB-A ports, and it looks like there's also two USB-C ports as well. So you can plug in newer phones, newer Android phones, newer computers, newer electronics. So that's really nice. And there's also two cup holders back here. And then I think in the door, there's, a, there's another two cup holders within the door. So there's a lot of cup holder space. I mention it because on focus surveys, people really, really like having cup holders, more cup holders than they need, and RAM has really included that here within the vehicle. So really nice experience, especially in the back of the vehicle. Definitely more impressed by what's going on back here than up there, even though that's a nice, fine driving experience, it would appear as well. The cockpit of the vehicle, if you will, is very nice. So this has been my look at the Dodge Ram, the Motor Trend Truck of the Year. It made big news just the other day. Do, what do you guys think of this vehicle? Is it something that you want to buy? How does it stack up to the F-150? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.